What is up? So today is just going to be a random rant video. Um, I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to call it, but basically, there in in Ireland anyway, there are exams coming up this month. Um, for like some exams are pretty important. They're kind of final exams and. They determine whether you can go to college, what college, what you can study. Um, so those exams are pretty important. And then there's ones that are kind of halfway and they're preparing you for the more important ones. They're not too important, but people still panic about them. Um, so like the way exams work here anyway, that I think the same everywhere. They build you up during the school year, they build you up and they say, but well, you really need to fix this and you really need to get your act together so that you will be good enough to do well in these exams and everybody kind of is a little bit chilled out during the, at the start of the year and they're like yeah it'll be fine there's loads of time and then more time comes and they're like oh there's still time and then it gets to like a couple of months before their exams and people panic and they go crazy and like the thing that annoys me of course everybody should study. If you want to do well in school, you want to go to college or university, you want to make a career out of something that you're going to study, then of course you need to study for your exam so you so that you do well enough. Um, but it annoys me to see people study and that is all they do. The, the way the point system or the exam system works here, you get your you do your exams and then depending on each grade for each subject, they're all worth a certain amount of points and you add them up at the end and colleges, um, they require a certain amount of points for whatever you want to study. So if you want to study a particular course that requires 350 points, then that's what you need to get in those final exams so that you can get into this course. So people tend to go crazy like with just studying, that's all they do. They eat, sleep and study and they just forget to have fun. Obviously, you're not going to go out partying all the time. You're not going to do what you did last year, the year you didn't have exams. But, like, when I see people who study and don't talk to their friends, or, like, of course they can talk sometimes, but they don't really see their friends, or... I mean, I'm not in school now. I finished school two years ago, so I'm not doing exams. Um, but when I was doing mine, it was the, the very same. So I saw people in my school like doing the same thing and I didn't do too well in my well I didn't do as well as I could have done in my exams because I didn't try um, I was kind of just thinking well I don't want to go to college yet I want to go and I'm a bit older so I don't really care um, and then I was the class clown well I tried to be anyway and I was the one that tried to make people laugh um, and I didn't do as well as I should have done um, which, I mean, obviously, I regret not doing as well as I could have done, but I still don't know what I want to do in college. I still don't know what career I want to have. Um, so I don't regret not going to college because I probably would have done something and then realized I didn't want to do it. I've seen people who have been on the opposite side who studied too much and they didn't, um, they didn't have a social life, which is, I think, is kind of stupid because they will drive you insane. Studying all the time will drive you insane. And then I've seen people who had a pretty good balance and who could do both. I mean, obviously it depends on your capabilities and, and how sharp you are or how well you do in school academically, but there's an equal balance. There's an, a way to have a good amount of studying done and to still have your social life so that you don't go insane. People get so stressed and break down. I've seen people break down because they feel like they won't do well enough. Um, and I hate that because people are so set on kind of, this is the only way, that's all they can do. If I want to study law, I have to do it this way. And like there are so many ways around things. Like if you don't get the points that you need for a certain course, there's other ways to get around that and to do them whether you have to do a year or something else, well, that's something that might have to happen, but people will break down because they feel like they're not good enough to get the points that they need so that they can do the course that they want. And if they don't get the points that they need, then they're gonna choose something else that they can do. Instead of sticking by what they wanted to do and just finding a different way to do it. 
they they just give up on what they want to do because things don't go the, the way they want it to go. Of course it's not going to go the way you want it to go. Nothing does. And like then there's people who have a plan B. And like you'll say I want to study this and then if that doesn't work I'll go and study this which is completely different but I'll settle for that over there. When you have a plan B, plan A won't work because you will always say to yourself well if that doesn't work I'll just go to plan B. If there's no plan B, all that you have is plan A. So you will work for plan A. Whatever it takes, that's what you'll do. So don't have a plan B. Like, just have your plan A. Work for plan A. If that's what you want, then do it. Whether it's the way you want it to happen, or whether you have to take an extra year to do it. If it's what you want to do, then go and do it. People give up on things that they want to do so easily. Whether it's by having to do a little bit more work than they initially thought they would, or whether it's because of the opinions of other people. You might decide that you want to feed whales for the rest of your life. That is the career you want. I don't know if that's a career. But if you decide that's what you want to do for the rest of your life and 12 people say to you, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why would you not do it? It's what you want to do. It's not what you want them to want you to do. Who cares what they think? Just do what you want to do. It's as easy as that. Why would you give up on the one thing you want to do just because it's gone a little bit hard. Now, I know this kind of went off on a tangent, I was talking about exams, but that's how my mind works. And I don't stay on the same subject for more than like two minutes, so just deal with it, okay? There's too many instances where somebody wants to do something and then ends up doing something that they absolutely hate and will end up miserable for years studying something they never had any interest in and probably were told by their parents that that's what they should do. So now their parents have encouraged them, oh well, that's a good thing to do, you should do that. Forget about music, forget about games development, just you should be a doctor, that will, we know how to get you in there. You did. If you're not interested in something, don't do it. Easy as that, that's it, just don't do it, because you will end up miserable. And who wins from that? Nobody. You literally will suffer for how many years? just for maybe a decent paycheck. Maybe that's all that you will get out of it. But is a decent paycheck worth suffering for years? Is it worth throwing away the one thing that you wanted to do just so you can do what your parents want you to do? Only the ones who are closest to us should matter. And that is if their opinions are good opinions. I mean, if someone genuinely has your best interests at heart and says look I know that you want to be an artist but you can't draw then you can kind of think okay well maybe I can be an artist in a different way maybe I could paint which probably still won't work if you can't draw but maybe I could I don't know find something if you want to be an artist do it if you can't draw find a different way to be an artist make a sculpture carve a statue whatever just do it. If you want to be a musician and you can't sing, play guitar for someone who can't sing. You can still be in a band. You can still be a famous a famous musician. You don't have to be able to sing. If you can't play guitar, play the piano. Anybody can learn to play an instrument, provided you have arms and fingers. Sometimes you don't need fingers. You could play drums if you didn't have fingers. But, yeah, I'm sure they could strap sticks to your hands somehow or your stumps it's just it annoys me to see people doing things that they absolutely hate just because others have told them they should do it or just because others have told them that they can't or shouldn't do what they initially wanted to do so bad yeah just do your own thing and don't let people decide for you what you should do it, it happens way too much um, yeah, horrible rant, and I don't. They went everywhere. I went in all different directions, mad directions. I started off with exams and went to Plan A and Plan B and to artists and drummers without fingers and whew, just like it's your life. So do what you want to do, career-wise. If you want to do something, then do it. And don't let people tell you you can't. Because there are ways to do things. I've seen people with no arms play guitar. 
picture that in your head and just try and figure that out yourself how they would do that. But they do, because that's what they want to do, they find a way to do it. No arms, playing a guitar. So you can do what, whatever you feel you want to do and don't let people tell you you can't. And it's as simple as that. People don't realize it is as simple as that. There are ways to do things. Yes, they might be really hard. It might take you 12 years to get where you want to be. But if that's what you want to do, then you will do it. There's a saying, and I'm not sure exactly what, what the wording is. And it's basically that if you do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. I'm going to sneeze. Pineapple. Pineapple. How does that work? At the end of the day, you need to just be happy. That's what it is. If you want to suffer for years doing something you don't want to do, if that makes you happy in some weird twisted way, which I can't even figure out how that would work, well then do that and be miserable if that's what you want to do. But just don't let people tell you you can't do something or that you shouldn't do something. Because I've had enough of that. Uh, I don't care. Who cares? Why would you care? It's your life. Do it. Whatever you want. And just remember to stay happy. But yeah, like I said, really, really horrible rant that went off in 50 different times. But yeah, that's what I thought I'd make a video about today. Thanks for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.